What's going on, God Zero Nation? This is our God Zero. We are back with more Pokemon Xenoverse. Thank you for joining me as always. We're about to take on another gym challenge. We began it at the end of the previous episode. Turns out Gengar was running the show, but the gym leader has returned. And it is now time to take on the gym challenge. Because we've beaten everybody along the way. It's just step right up, folks, and time to get into the battle. So, uh, before we get started, hit that like button down below. And if you're new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's kick things off with a gym battle. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome today's challenger. Come on. The Sunshine Circus's challenge consists in a sequence of three battles against my company's best tumblers. Although it wasn't an official show, you have already proven yourself to be worthy of the final battle, defeating all three of my associates. So, as elegant as the phoenix rises from the ashes, fueled by the eternal flames burning in hell, and with the fiery passion within the heart of a warrior, my fire-type Pokémon will blaze up like gunpowder in their fiery glory to light up Sunshine Circus. Ooh, she's a tamer as well. I like that. She's leading out with a Rapidash. Alright, we're going to try and get a knockout here with Electaburst so then we can swap in without copping damage to Shulong. Because we're going to get decent damage off with T-Bolts. Because Electaburst has a crazy stupid special attack stat. 54 for Bling Grudge. Going to send out Incineroar. We're going to hang out for the battle because uh, we've got a low kick with Incineroar's name all over it, even though it's going to half the damage now. Just like the Incineroar. Actually... Was the Incineroar and the Pyroar that was borrowed from Henna? Because that's just used the exact same uh, berry that it had attached to it before. Toxapex. Alright, so fire type. So she's got the Marini and Toxapex line that looks like a circus tent, which would be fire typing. So I'm straight up going to swap here into Shulong. Check out the design of this Toxapex. I love it. Let's go for a Scold. Let's go for a Dragon Pulse. Oh, okay, you're going to heal up again. All right. I love Goombear. Goombear looks so good. Unfortunately, Henna's put herself in a bad situation here because, um, foul play. It's a physical attack move. 95. Yeah, let's go foul, let's go foul play over Night Flash. We're going to stay out. And as I was saying, Henna's got herself in a bad position because her final two Pokemon are one-hit KOs here. That's one. Mm -hmm. 
And that's two. And that is another gym badge collected, ladies and gentlemen. You quenched the flames of my spirit. The very essence of a trainer burns brightly within you, Zira. Not very many people managed to put on a spot my beastly fire-type Pokémon, tempered by vicious battles. But you were able to put them in their places like not even a tamer like me has ever done. The brand badge deserves to be held tightly by your skillful hands. A tradition once here at Sunshine Circus, I'm gonna give you this TM too. What move is it? It contains Flamethrower, one of the most iconic and powerful fire type attacks. Teach it to your Pokemon and you'll get some more firepower in your battles. Alright ladies and gentlemen, thanks all for the show today. The whole Sunshine Circus would like to thank you for your warm presence today too. See you next time. But more than everybody, I want to thank you Zero, for this great show you made. I'll brand this exciting day in my memory with fire. And now that we've defeated her, we can now head over to the decrepit gym. Where her grandfather is waiting, and I feel he is going to give us Surf. It just sounded like he was going to give us something in the way of a, uh, a H-Mineral. I've gone way too far. I was waiting for you. I didn't watch the entire battle, but I've seen enough to convince me. You certainly have what it takes to conquer the last gym badge. But you see, the gym leader that used to run Vega Gym has left without a trace. And so the few trainers up to the seven gym badges gave up at the thought of looking for him. But I know where he is and I want to share my secret with a young talent like you. With this, you can finally reach your sought after goal. Here you have... An air ticket! We're gonna fly! The gym leader of Vega City retired to another region, hence you would need the plane to reach him. Showing that ticket to the right person in S Oak Airport, you'll get on a plane to that far land. I hope that with your genuine power, you can revive the warrior spirit of his. Who is it? And which region am I about to fly to? Okay, if that's the case, let's get the Pokewares. We need... We're only missing Surf. Time to fly to... There is something right there. I should see what that is first. Of a free TM. Alright, as I was saying, Pokey Wiz time. Looks like there's nothing here. Take me to. Yes. Now we should be able to go straight to the front desk. I've got a ticket. Oh, you weren't here before. Oh, I see you have a ticket there. Please give it to me. So you were headed to the Kanto region! We're headed to the Kanto region? Anyway, would you like to get on board now or do you wish to make sure... No, I'm going... I'm getting on board. Let's go to Kanto. We have landed in Kanto, ladies and gentlemen. 
in Vermilion City. This is where Diglett Cave used to be? Oh my god, the Snorlax. Oh, how nostalgic is that? Yeah, I bet the research you're running is seeing if there's a Mew underneath it, huh? Oh, this is so sick. Like, it's a modernized Kanto. I'm not reading what these people are saying. I'm just skipping through to see if they're going to give me anything. Because while we're here, we might as well just talk to everyone to see whether or not they're going to give us some items. Okay, so he's trading a dragon from the Eldu region for a dragon from the... Uh, from this region, which is a Dratini. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, first things first, I'm going to get my heels on. And, uh, oh wow, that, that gym's run down too. I wonder, I wonder if it's Surge. Like Old Man Surge. We'll find out shortly. A few moments later. Okay, here we go. We even have to cut down the tree like we used to back in the old days. That is so good. Beans. Hey, kid. Don't you have anything better to do than to come here looking for an old geezer like me? Actually, you see, I know exactly why you're here. You want my badge, don't you? Since my retirement, I've seen only a few kids willing enough to come this far. Even though I've decided to give up everything, I never left my occupation in the Eldu region. Unlike I did here in Kanto a long time ago. Not for some reason, but I didn't want to leave vacancies, that's all. The determination I used to have by now has burned out and just made me an old man living in his memories. My appearance, as well as my being here, tell the whole story. Look at me. Look how the exonerable passage of time has made me. It is Surge! If it were up to me, I'd hand over the badge like lightning, but procedures impose me to challenge you. It's not like I want to, but... Get a move on and battle me. It's up to you to decide whether or not to take off all your strength. We are fighting Old Man Surge. And this soundtrack is slapping hard. Don't have sturdy. It's got sturdy. We might end up getting off a full, uh, free heal here because I feel uh, he might go for the heal himself. He did not. And we can chew up a flash cannon real easy. Okay, that's one Pokemon down. Bling Grudge. Okay, so he's steel typing now instead of electric?
you going to be sturdy as well? Or do you have levitate? Cross poison, there we go, there's a good move. It learns critical hits more easily. Yeah, let's go for that. And it's gonna end with a Raichu. Yo, that's sick! It's like a space station Raichu. It's dead. Is this his final Pokemon? Because Electaburst has just gone to town and clean swept here. I don't care how much effort you did put in. Here's your payoff for taking the trouble to come this far. The honor badge. And it's all rusty. That rusted piece of junk is the old badge from my longtime gym here in Kanto. I renamed it honor badge to remind me of the value of those memories. Ugh, why am I getting lost in chatter with a pint-sized brat like you? You got what you wanted. Get out of my face now. Go away. What? My arm, you say? You're such a nosy tyke. If you really have nothing else to do, I'll tell you what led to me to end like this. Okay. Bit of a backstory? Years ago, I served with team within Team Rocket. I had legions of grunts under my command, and everyone knew me as the terrible Lieutenant Surge. There he is! I was fighting for a man whom I held in very high esteem, Giovanni. It was my dream until... A brat about your age screwed everything up. <laughs> that would have been red. The boss had to dissolve the organization he set up and I found myself alone again. As during war, when all my comrades were killed. However, the spirit of the warrior was still burning within me. I therefore decided to join the army of a distant region that was recruiting soldiers to engage in a conflict against its neighbours. It had been a... It had to be a blitzkrieg, but instead it lasted longer than those who could cause it ever expected. Food stocks started running very low and we had to split them between us comrades, with whom started to develop a fraternal bond. But war never changes. That's true. One of the comrades fell into the trap of enemies and I tried everything using a shocking attack move. The same that, way back then, saved my skin more than once. But the time, this time it failed. My enemies were ground type Pokemon. After neutralizing my attack, they replied using rock type moves and devastated us. We had no chance. Myself, I got away with just an arm. But my brother in arms, right you, it was unrecognizable. The comrade I had been trying so hard to save was gone straight off though. Then I blacked out due to massive blood loss. However, someone rescued us, took care of me and my Pokemon and cursed me with this new robot arm. After several days I woke up from my coma and went on a rampage. I'd rather die on the battlefield than carry the heavy burden of failure on my shoulders. Then a man, probably the boss of all those glasses down there, stood in front of me. He proposed me a major role within the organization he was setting up. Called it the Phoenix Rose from the Ashes of Team Rocket. I refused, obviously. Team Rocket was done and gone without Giovanni. But I couldn't tolerate what they had done to me, so I decided to run away with my Pokemon. But my Raichu was anything but the one I remembered. They told me its condition was so critical that they had to insert within its body 
mechanical parts to bring it back to life. Those eggheads were calling it an artificial specimen zero. <laughs> All I knew was that I couldn't forsake a fellow, so it took with me and ran off to that laboratory. After all that happened, I had nothing left in this world, nothing but this gym, now consumed by time. It remained deserted since I had left my position of Vermilion City's gym leader, to get involved full-time with the same role in my homeland, Eldil. I decided to come back here, and since then, this old shack has basically been my home. It brings back the memory of the glorious past I could never forget. What a sad story, huh? You sat there listening to me ramble the whole time. You must be a good-hearted kid. And what about you? What makes you keep on your journey? I see. You were looking for your father who disappeared years ago. I wish you the best of luck finding him. By the way, I want you to take this. It's old now, but it should still work. That's a TM. You still use those, don't you? It contains Volt Switch, a move I often use to zap all my enemies during war. Consider it my gift to you, young blade. Succumbing to sentimentalism, I really sank over. If the old me heard this, he'd have a roaring laugh. Hey you, listen up. What was the organization that kidnapped your father again? Team Dimension, huh? Sometimes fate deals some people a rotten hand, you see. It was Team Dimension that made me like this. I happen to remember exactly where its hideout is. How could I forget, after all? You want me to tell you, don't you? Well, you may not be very smart to think you can break into the enemy outpost, or you've got guts of steel, kid. If you're willing to complete your mission so bad, I'm going to tell you. In my hometown, Vega City, near my old gym... You can find the Eldu Casino, a real heaven for gamblers, fat cats, and for Team Dimension, too. Pay attention now. There's a hidden passage inside there, probably shielded by some grunts, leading down to Vega City's underground. When you'll be down there, it's up to you to ingenuity and hunch skill to find its hideout. But I'm sure you'll get it done. Watch out, kid, though. The truth might be a tough pill to swallow. So, obviously, the Team Dimension grunt that was standing in front of that poster is guarding the way out. Ooh. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree, huh, Silver? Silk? You said Silver. Where's Silver at? Because we all know Silver is Giovanni's, uh, Giovanni's son. Or allegedly, anyway. However, ladies and gentlemen, that's where this episode's going to wrap up. Thank you for joining me, as always. When we return, we're going to head back to the Eldu region, and we're going to try and infiltrate Team Dimension's hideout. How beautiful was it to return to Kanto and take on an older Lieutenant Surge, though, and find out a backstory like that? That was incredible. This game just keeps getting better and better. I hope you guys have been enjoying it. If you have, hit that like button down below, and if you're new, hit that subscribe button down below, silly. It's that simple. If you've missed any episodes, playlist in the description. You're welcome. But that's it from me, guys. I'm out of here, and as always, I will catch you guys next time.